Well, it's been a beautiful spring day here in our neck of the woods. Finally got some potatoes in. There's uh, almost 300 hills on that far end of that patch and then where them tiling flags are. My wife, she wanted to plant some early northern sweet corn. It's supposed to be a little more tolerant to cold soil temperatures and comes on a little earlier. All them other tiling flags, that's where we got asparagus that got bare spots we got to fill in. It's nice to finally be able to get the potatoes in the ground though because the weather's kind of iffy around here. About the time you get ready to do it then you get a good downpour and everything's too wet. But there's some other things got to put into the garden here this week too. Go take a look. Peas are still kind of, yeah, they're doing pretty good. Two rows, about, I don't know, 60 foot long. I gotta get some fence on them before they get too big. But some cabbages and whatnot in there. We just use these old pots from work, cut the bottoms out, put around them to kind of isolate them a little bit. There's some other stuff over there. Got a couple rows of onions in. Well, not one, I guess. One and a quarter, about 60 foot long. Got to finish that out. Two little raised beds, they're looking pretty good. Strawberries are actually blooming over there. Greens and pulling onions, they're doing all right. Kind of a little bit of a t little bit at a time around here, cause they're talking about a frost yet. Come uh, Saturday night, Friday night, I forget. I don't believe them weather guessers, anyways. I wish I could make money being wrong all the time. Let's see. Everything in the greenhouse is doing pretty good. Tomato plants are in there. I don't know how many there are. I forget. I lost count. Be enough for us. Oh, and uh, as far as pumpkins go, there's squash and stuff. Mine probably ain't doing as good as a lot of folks, but we just leave them out here. We don't have no heat or nothing on them. But uh, I want them to make ruts. When I get them outside, then they can go crazy. Got some jack-o'-lantern pumpkins there that I planted for the grandkids. I don't know. I'm going to try some watermelon this year. I don't particularly care for watermelon, but what the hell, huh? Well, everything's doing pretty good. These are them raspberries I dug up out of the middle of the row. I just took a shovel and dug them up. They're doing pretty good. I'll tell you what, for what the, the nursery there, what they sell for raspberries and what they look like, Maybe I ought to go in the raspberry business. <laughs> yeah. I had a pretty good day the other day. I swung through the local brush dump. I haven't had time to go out to where I cut wood at, but so I just swung through the brush dump and had a chainsaw with me and there's a bunch of big maple and birch logs laying there. I whacked them up, threw them in the back of the truck and Time I got done splitting, I had almost a quart of wood out of that. Not too bad for found wood. Around here, they get about 80 bucks a cord for that stuff, so I figure I made money on that deal. <laughs> I like free BTUs. 
course, uh, cutting and stacking firewood can become kind of an obsession. But if nothing else, it's nothing just like money in the bank. I had to move them goats out of the, this half of the chicken house. I don't know. It's getting stinky in here. Besides that, they was uh, kind of pissing off the occupants. You got two, uh, that's gonna blow shut. It's gonna get darker than hell in here. Oh, look at that. There, come on, what's the matter with you? I'm a pretty good cinematographer, I'll tell you. But I got these two old clucks in this nest up here. And, uh,. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a bunch of them under there. Hey, quit that. Don't be such a mean old bitch. Yeah, you got a couple under you too, don't you? Yeah. I don't know, I can't count them. There's, there's probably a dozen that hatched between last night and today, so. They make good soup. Them banny chickens, they're pretty easy to take care of. They kind of take care of themselves. All right. Say good night, Annie Penny. Huh? Oh, you camera shy? All right. Good night. Well, as far as my goat venture is going, that's been a lot of years since I had goats. Probably uh, 40 years. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. You been fed. But I moved them out of the chicken house and I built this little pen out here in the, what's left of this barn. It's about the driest corner, if you can believe that. Old used panels out of packing crates. Look out, boys. Kind of slap something up for him. Look out! Oh, where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But they're doing all right. I lost the little one. Get in here! Come on! Come on, boys! Come on! Come on, boys! Get in here! Come on! Sit, Ubu! Get in here! They, boy, they don't listen to Earth as shit, you know what? But anyways, yeah, they had this igloo dog crate. But get in here. Come on. You're wasting my time. Come on. Anyways, I'll deal with them later. Lost the little guy. He was still bottle feeding. and He died the other day. But I put this little pen up out here. I gotta get some barbed wire up, so if they do get bigger, they ain't getting out and getting in the damn garden. Well, what the hell? I don't know. They ain't the most desirable breed of goat, as far as eating goes. But then, uh, a hungry belly don't much care, does it? Get in here! Yeah, me took a pallet and cut it apart. Made a little hay bunk tonight. Get in here, you dumb son of a bitch! Come on! Get in here! Come on! Come on! Get in here! Get in here! Go on! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Goofy little bastards. Drink your milk. This is going to be a low budget, low work type of deal, I hope. I'm not prepared to stick a whole bunch of money into two billy goats. Ain't that right? Alrighty. Well, I'm kind of tired. 
I got a desk covered with bills and I suppose I best pay them. I don't know what it is about money. I could probably live without it, but it's these people that send stuff to me in the mail. They all want money. Yeah. Say good night. Say good night. Say good night. All right. Have a good one.